Hey guys, so today we're going to be trying a brand that's new to me. It is Koki Cosmetics. I've heard great things about the powder, the mascara, and they just came out with like a new luxe line, so I thought we would try it today. If you guys are curious to see my experience with the Koki Cosmetics brand and hear my first impressions at the end, then just keep watching. Okay, so first thing I have here is the Full Cover Foundation. It looks like this. It's a glass bottle. It's very luxe for the drugstore. I picked mine up at Rite Aid. It has a pump. So let's see what the shade looks like. I have the shade 20W. Looks like it might be a little bit light for me, but that shouldn't be a problem. I can always bronze. As usual, I'm going to apply half with a sponge and half with a brush. Okay, going in with the sponge. Smells, it's a little fruity. So far I've used two pumps just on this part of my face, so it doesn't seem to go very far. Okay, so this side has the foundation, this side does not. I would say it's a nice medium coverage. I would say as of right now, it's looking satin, but I have a feeling it's going to dry down matte just the way it feels right now. So we'll give this a second to set and we will do the other side with the brush. Okay, I should have mentioned this on the bottle. It says a full coverage lightweight foundation that delivers seamless matte complexion that, it's hard to read this, it's metallic writing, that will last all day. Warning, do not use on damaged, broken, or irritated skin. Shake well. Whoops. Let's try the second half with a brush. And this is one of my Sonia Kashuk foundation brushes. Okay, applying it with the brush was definitely faster, but I have brush strokes all over my face, so I still have to go in and smooth it out with a sponge. I can tell already that I'm not going to like this foundation. It's making my lip area look very cakey. I'm sure if you can see it around here, but you can really see the makeup sitting. Just looks very heavy. Looks very heavy and cakey here. Perhaps this is the type of foundation that you want to like sheer out with a facial oil. But just first impressions, it looks very heavy. The bottle is luxe. The packaging is really nice. I am getting close to full coverage, so that claim is true. Is it matte? It's definitely setting down matte. It just looks very heavy. So let's move on to product number two. It is the Koki Translucent Setting Powder. And I remember hearing a thing from Kathleen Lights. This was a really good one. So I'm curious to see how it works on top of this foundation. Obviously, I'm not loving the foundation already, so we'll see what happens. I will try this also on a separate day and leave my updated thoughts here on how it works with other foundations that I do enjoy. This is what the powder looks like. Let's see what the texture feels like. It feels very finely milled, very light. This is what it looks like on the back of my hand. Very smoothing, but it does have a bit of a light look to it, so we'll see how it applies to the face. I'm gonna grab my Sonia Kashuk powder brush. I have a lot of Sonia Kashuk brushes I really enjoy, so hence why I have so many in this video. Let me do some under eye concealer and then we'll do the powder. Okay, so I applied a little bit of Smashbox concealer. Now we can try to set the face with this powder. I'm just going to grab a brush that I used from Sephora for the under eye area. Dip it into the lid. 
and see what happens. And I'm gonna grab a larger powder brush for the rest of my face. Okay, this side has been powdered, this side has not. Let me look up close. Wow, it looks so smooth. It feels really soft. Especially right here, it feels like poreless, velvety soft skin. So since one side is set, let's do a flash test and see if there's a difference from side to side. Okay, I wouldn't say there's flashback per se, it just lightened everything just a little bit. So not flashback where you see white, it just definitely lightens the makeup a little bit. So I'm gonna finish setting the other side of my face and then we'll move on. Okay, the face is set, it's nice and soft and smooth. I think the powder actually improved the look of the foundation. It gave it a smoother finish. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still looking heavy around the lips and between my eyebrows and it's already settling into the lines in my forehead. It is a matte foundation. So let me hop off bronze and blush and then we'll be back to try their new soft glow highlights and their volume and length mascara, which I've heard amazing things about. So I'll be right back. Okay, so foundation, powder, blush, and bronzer are on. I used a little bit of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Bronzer and the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronzer on the face and some Stila Cream Blushes on the cheek. Really pretty, filled in the brows. So now it's time to try these beautiful soft glow highlighters. Um, let's see what it says. It doesn't really say much. It just lists the ingredients underneath, but we have gleaming and we have rosy, so let's start with some swatches. Okay, they're a bit of like a putty consistency. Can you see the fingerprint right there? Okay, so here we have gleaming, which looks like it would be a really pretty fair skin highlight. They also had like a gold and a bronzy one. I only picked up two shades. And then this next one, ooh, this one feels even softer than the first one. Rosy. I think I'm gonna have to try a combination of the two. This one looks a little too deep and this one looks a little too light. It's usually what happens. So I'm gonna start off just with a Wet n Wild brush and see if I can pick up any of the product. I have a feeling I'm gonna need to use my fingers or a sponge, but we'll see if anything comes off on this brush. Okay, I did pick up some. It's just like a light coating. The color doesn't look to be too dark, so that's good. I'm not really getting enough impact with this. I'm gonna grab my sponge that I was using, dip it into the highlight, and see if that will work better. Yeah, that worked a lot better. Okay, it gives you like a wet metallic look. It might be a little dark for me, but the color is really pretty. It's definitely a pink highlight. So since the sponge worked so well with that pink one, I'm going to try gleaming the same way on the tips of the cheekbones. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. That's pretty. All right, I'm gonna try that one on the Cupid's bow as well. That looks really nice. I'm gonna try it by itself on the other cheek and see if it's too light for me right now. Ooh. I don't think that's too light. It kind of gives me like a wet glossy finish. That's pretty. I'm gonna add just a little bit of the pink right underneath. Together, those are really pretty. Let's try the bridge of the nose. Nice, 
nice. This gives you like a nice wet look. It's not glittery. It's not too metallic. I feel like you can probably buff it down to make it even more natural. Really pretty. So let me hop off, do some eye makeup. We'll be back to try that mascara. Okay guys, so the eye makeup is done. I'm playing with some new liquid glitter shadows. So now we have this Koki mascara. It says add drama and length with one mascara. The tapered brush adds dimension and reaches even the smallest lashes to create long defined voluminous lashes. It's smudge proof, zero clumps, and adds length and volume. So this is what it looks like. Let's give it a try. This is what the wand looks like. It's not a super fluffy one, which is what I was expecting. It's just like a slightly tapered wand. It looks like it has like the hair like bristles, so not plastic. So let's give this a try. I'll zoom you in and let's give it a try. Okay, so here is one coat of the mascara. It does look really nice. It's a little bit of like a sticky formula. So I'm wondering how buildable it is. So let's try a second layer. That actually builds quite nicely. It almost looks like I have shorter false lashes on right now. So far, so good. Do you think it's pushing my luck to try a third coat? Let's try. That looks really nice. Three coats. This is really nice so far. Hmm. Okay, so I am really impressed with this mascara. I feel like my eyes look like they have kind of like dummy wispy lashes on. They look really full and black, which I really like. So this is what they look like close up. I really like the mascara so far, so we'll see how well it wears during the day. All right, let's do the wrap up of the products I tried today. The foundation is a little too cakey for my taste. It is matte, it is fairly full coverage. We'll see if it warms up throughout the day. I mean, right now it looks really um, heavy on my forehead. It's settling into my forehead lines already. It looks pretty heavy around the mouth, but we'll see how it wears throughout the day. And with some setting powder, we'll see if everything kind of melts together. The powder is beautiful. I just wish you got a little bit more in here. You get 0.18 ounces or five grams. In the Milk Makeup Blur Powder, you get 0.87 ounces, 25 grams. So I feel like this, this is on like the sparse side as far as how much powder you get, but it does kind of airbrush and make your skin silky, silky smooth and soft. So I like the powder. The highlights, I wasn't expecting to like just from the swatch. I thought that they'd be I don't know, patchy, but they look beautiful. It looks like I have wet, dewy cheeks, and that's kind of the look everyone's going for right now is that kind of like wet, dewy, glossy look on the face. So I like these, and this mascara I am really impressed with. So other than the foundation, I'd say this was a successful first try from the Koki brand. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and seeing me try things for the first time, hearing my first impressions. I'll give you an update on the foundation in the future, how I like it, if my opinion has changed. If you guys did enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.